Good afternoon. It's Thursday the 22nd of October. I'm insulating the van walls a bit more. In a previous video you saw how I created the washing line effect for the insulation up behind there that goes behind the lockers. Now I've reused some insulation I found in my loft in there. And I'm now constructing the area that will be the shower room. And I thought I'd try something different, again, something I've not seen anyone use before. And this is YBS Super Quilt. It's a foil product. So you have a stitched seam with a plastic, fairly heavy duty layer on either side. Then layers of insulation and foil and insulation and foil. It's a very heavily used product in the building industry. It's a bugger to work with. Um, in order to actually put a screw in it, I found it's best to melt a hole all the way through, otherwise the um, the wadding just goes around the screw head. So it's a bit of a pain because it's designed to be nailed between battens. And the normal way of using it would be to put 25mm battens on the wall, staple it on, and then overlay it with 25mm battens. I didn't want to give up two inches of space here. Um, this has got room to move and expand into the void although I've also, also filled that void up with insulation as well, where effectively another window could go. But this gives me a very high U-value of insulation in a fairly thin space, because I'm every inch counts in a van. So I thought I'd give this a try. And the main reason for buying this is you can only buy it in 10 metre rolls. So I've bought it and I need to use it, which is why it's here, rather than just putting 25mm PR between these uh, battens. But the reason for using it, oh, as I mentioned, you can never enough have enough hooks in a camper van. And these um, ambulance uh, cabinets, the handles, they make very, very good hooks as well. Right, wander down here. The reason for using this YBS is because this piece of plywood here. I won't get to get that out. It was hard enough work getting the plywood off the other piece, but that was in individual sections. There's no way I'll ever get this off. And it only gives me about an inch, if that. In fact, there's no space there at all. So by the time I batten this out a little bit, this super quilt will go in this section here. And obviously this is where the bed's going to go. So it really does matter that I can save as much space as possible. Um, you can buy offcuts of this super quilt, but I thought I'd give it a go. And then I can actually use it along the bottoms as well when I batten them out. Because it's always sensible to actually batten out when you apply line the van anyway. And uh, I've found that with a bit of work, I've been able to trap this um, behind battens without too much difficulty. As I said, I ended up having to make everywhere that I needed to screw it on, I've actually had to put a hole through it. And I ended up using a solder iron to do it because it would easily just rip up so it's a bit of a pain in the neck to use but it's you know it's hand it's really thick dense stuff and it billows out nicely that's that's gone back into the that's billowed out into the back of the van i've actually put insulation behind her as well but just an experiment i may hate doing this <laughs> but it was certainly hard work compared to just using pir but when i come to doing the walls along here and along this side it will be easy to use the way you're supposed to use it is with this seam here across the top and the same at the bottom because that's then it just hangs nicely but this is supposed to be 1500 millimeter wide uh, insulation it's not the most it would stretch out to is 140 if it had been 1500 mil wide that would have fitted perfectly. That's why I actually bought it. It would have fitted perfectly between here and here. And uh, I could have stapled that to a batten along there, stretched it out down the bottom there, and life would have been a hell of a lot easier to install. They do a 1200mm wide version as well, and I'm glad I didn't buy that, because I bet it comes out at 1100 or something, and it wouldn't squeeze behind a... It wouldn't fit behind a 1200mm uh, piece of plywood. Right, so the next job now is to uh, put my piece of ply on. And uh, oh, yeah, I've got to put a bit of a 
tape round there just to cover that uh, heater outlet. And these, just underneath this bit of um, protective flooring, that's the only bit of unwinds track that's staying in the van. This is to secure a seat um, so that we can have a seat belt on it should we need it. But that's out of all the track that was in here, I've kept those two. They're not screwed down yet because the floor covering is not there. This plastic that I'm standing on now is simply because um, I want to protect the ply from muddy feet. Right. Plywood. So that's one sheet of um, five millimeter plywood screwed in place. So obviously that's 1200 millimeters wide or 1220, 48 inches. That gives me enough room now to uh, build the left hand wall, which will form part of the bulkhead uh, for the uh, size of the shower tray that I'm using, which is um, 670 mil. I want to basically box this section out first so I can build this bulkhead wall construct a door and then finish off the uh, housing for the air conditioning unit at this end and then I'm working my way along he says come back up the step I will be boxing that window in but the next thing I need to do or the next thing I'm going to do is start at the other end and build the bed frame and clad that part of the wall because where the bed frame ends which will be somewhere around about there-ish, I reckon. That's where the, the partition-y, wall -y bit will go, which creates the uh, storage area underneath the bed. And therefore, somewhere about there, there will be, somewhere about there, will be the partition wall. And somewhere about there, where that line is, will be where our fridge is going. In this section over here, between the between this effectually this area here and the end of the shower room, and that will determine how much of this window I can keep. So I'm basically going to meet them in the middle, <laughs> and whatever's left <laughs> allows me to uh, uh, create the window surround and the blind, and I'm going to double glaze these windows, and then I'm going to do the same on this side as well. And in this side, the the constraint is going to be the height of the um, kitchen cabinet which is 34 inches, which will bring us probably to about there. So again, um, once I've framed this out, but again, we'll determine how much of this window is going to be usable. Because again, I want to double glaze it and fit a blind. And then this one here, only the sliding part of the window is going to be usable. That, that lower part will be blocked off. So that's probably the next bit. Frame this piece out. Frame the lower section, and I can build a box for the uh, wheel arches as well. But, uh, I seem to prefer doing the work this time of year. I don't like working when it's boiling hot. In fact, I've been doing so many other people's vans, I haven't really got on with this one at all. But I don't mind doing the odd bits of electrical work in the summer, but working inside a van doing carpentry and stuff, it's just too hot. So I shall get a lot more done on this vehicle over the winter and spring than I've done on it all year, probably. As I said, this is the piece of construction already built, which I will then build a new wall that will actually secure onto this. This uses the, it's a bit, bit tight there, but this uses the screw holes that the original bulkhead used. Um, and I've just got a few temporary screws in there at the moment, just hold it in place. But then that bulkhead will extend out, or the bulkhead that's going to fit onto that will extend out in the same way this one here is. And that just allows me enough room with the doorway to make quite good use of the swivel seats. We can sit and talk and uh, watch the world go by. And I can still have a nice secure doorway. Um, that's the plan anyway. But just potting about, doing bits and pieces as and when it suits me. Thanks for watching.